Welcome to another video. For a while now, I have been planning to do a video on the king's property of definite integrals, uh, but somehow it just never happened. But I'm doing it tonight <laughs> because I never knew about this before I started making YouTube videos. So I solved some problems in the past using a different strategy and I got a lot of comments in the comment section, especially from Indian students or Indian mathematicians saying, you could have used the king's property, but I never heard of the king's property. So I thought, how, how, how did it happen that I never learned of the king's property? But this is called the midpoint reflection property of definite integrals. So I am going to explain what happens when you cut any area in the middle and you reflect each half, if you take the integral, now reversing the order of movements, you're gonna find out that you're gonna end up with the same integral. And that's all we're gonna be doing. It's a very beautiful um, technique for integration, especially for some integrations that are almost impossible for you to do a different way. Let's get into the video. Before I begin the proof, I just quickly made a picture of what we're going to be working on. Now notice that if this was the original graph, the white one, okay, this white one is the original graph and you're traveling from A to B, but you stop halfway, which is A plus B over two, that's the midpoint of a line, and you cut this white graph in half, and you decide to flip this ending part this way, it's gonna give you this one here, right? You're gonna get this one. Then the remaining white part is gonna flip to become this. So if you look at both the, what color is this? But the red one and the white one, they're exactly the same. But when you're integrating the red one, you're going to be integrating from the end. If you want to follow this pattern, you're going to integrate from here all the way here. Or you might as well start from here and just integrate down. It's the same function. It's just that the beginning is the ending and the ending is the beginning. But the area of these two, the areas are the same for the two integrals or these two areas are the same. It's the same function, but just flipped. And that's what this King's integral, this is just a graphical representation that if you cut it in the middle and you reflect each half, you're gonna get exactly the same integral. You will just be integrating one from the other side, one from this side. You'll end up with the same answer. Now we're gonna show it analytically that this expression is exactly this expression. So I'm going to show you how this and this are exactly the same thing. It is super easy. We just need to do a U substitution here. Okay, so watch this. The integral of A to B of F of A plus B minus X dx. Okay, we're going to say let u be equal to a plus b minus x. So what we have is du will be equal to the derivative of this and when you differentiate this you're going to get just negative 1, right? Because this is going to be 0 so you have negative dx. So we can say dx equals negative du. So we can say negative du is equal to dx. So we can go back to this integral now. Oh wait, since we have said let u be equal to a plus b minus x, we have to also change the bounds. So what is u when x is a? Well, it's going to be a plus b minus a. We're replacing x with a, so that's going to be b. And what is u when x is b? It's going to be a plus b minus b. 
which is going to be a. So we can say that this integral, therefore, our integral from a to b of f of a plus b minus x dx is the same thing as the integral from, if we go from a, that's going to be from b to a of f of, we've said this is now u, f of u times, what's our dx? Negative du times minus du. We're going to go here. Okay, so look at this. This minus sign can actually flip this back so that what you have is a, we have integral from a to b of f of u du, which is this. Remember, when you're taking any, defining a function, you're free to use any letter, okay? So, this integral is exactly this integral, because this is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So, this thing we started with is the same thing as this for the same function. <laughs> and... This will save you from a lot of troubles. I wish I could just give you one example quickly, just to make this sink in. Let's take some problem that may look impossible, but not impossible. So this is a typical example. I just made this question up. I know the answer because I know what this kind of question will give you as answer. You don't need to think a lot about it, okay? Um, so now I'm looking at this and I'm going, can I use this principle for it? Yeah, the answer is yes. This is, okay, that shows I just made it up. I forgot the dx. Um, so right now, all you have to do is say, can I use the King's property to integrate this? Because otherwise you're gonna be stuck, okay? So you go, um, can I replace x with a plus b minus x? Can I do that? Can I change this to, 0 plus e minus x. So I'm going to call this i. Okay? I'm going to call this i. But I know that this integral will also be equal to, so I can call this i1, call this i2. I know both of them are the same. So I'm going to say this is the same integral from 0 to e, but now on top I'm going to have natural log of 0 plus e minus x, which is going to, I don't want to spend time on this example, okay? So which is going to be e minus x. When you add a plus b minus x, it's going to be just e minus x. So that's what's on top. And what's under is going to be ln of, you replace x with e minus x. And then you replace x with e minus x. But e minus e minus x would just be ln of x. So you're going to, coming back to ln of x. Okay, now notice that, <laughs> let, me not, let me just call it i, so you know that is the same thing, since I'm using the King's property. Okay, now notice that this integral and this integral, they look different, but they have the same denominator now. Okay, ln of x plus ln of e minus x, the same denominator in this case. So if you add up these two integrals that look different, but they're exactly the same thing by the King's property, you get this is going to be 2i is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to e of, if you add, because the denominators are the same, you can add the numerators, it's going to be ln of x plus ln of e minus x divided by ln of x plus ln of e minus x dx. So you end up with 2i is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 because this is going to be 1 dx. 
So this is going to be just x evaluated from 0 to 2, which is going to be equal to 2. So that your i equals, if you divide both sides by 2, you're going to get 1. Cha! So the answer to this integral, never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.